Good morning to a uh, morning yoga flow. Uh, welcome, hope you're having a good day so far. So listening to our body, of course, if something doesn't feel right, um, maybe going to child's pose or just take a short break. And, and I hope you enjoy it and we'll get started. So let's get on our mat. We're going to start down in hands and knees. So wrists are beneath our shoulders and our knees are beneath our hips. Feet will be right behind your knees. On our inhale, we're going to curl our tailbone up, drop the belly down, and gaze ahead. Exhale, rounding, curling the tailbone under, rounding the spine, bringing the navel to spine. Moving through these two movements, move at your own pace of breath, maybe closing the eyes. As we begin to warm up the spine here, inhale, looking ahead, exhale, curling the back. One more. Coming back to neutral spine. Let's place our right foot out to, or sorry, our left foot out to the side. We are on your right knee. You're gonna raise up on that knee. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale to the left. You wanna interlace your fingers here finding some lengthening through the right side body. Breath is in and out through your nose. Inhale, coming up, right hand comes down, lifting the leg and raising your left arm straight past your head or up to the sky if that's hard on your shoulder. Exhale, bring knee and elbow to meet. Inhale out. Exhale together. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale together. One more time. Inhale out. Exhale together. Inhale, stretch it out. Hands walk forward. Left leg comes behind you. Gaze is at the mat. Noticing your balance here. If it feels right for you, you can inhale your right arm forward as you pour the energy to your left palm. Next exhale, bringing elbow to meet, elbow and knee in the middle. Inhale, lengthen up, exhale together. Inhale out, exhale in, inhale out, and then hand and knee, find the mat. Going to the other side, we're going to bring our right foot out, coming on to our left knee. Inhale, left arm up, exhale to the right. You want to bring your hands to meet here. Take a couple long breaths, lengthening through the left side. One more. Inhale, rising up, left hand comes down, right foot rises, and you're reaching your right arm either past your head or up to the ceiling. Next exhale, bring elbow and knee to meet. Inhale out, exhale together. Inhale out, exhale together. Inhale out, exhale in. Inhale out, we walk our hands forward. Right leg comes back. Gaze at the mat or at the floor. 
Noticing your balance here. You're gonna pour your energy to your right palm. Inhale, left arm forward. Exhale, elbow and knee meet in the middle. Inhale out. Exhale in. Inhale out. Exhale together. Inhale out. And bringing the hand and knee down to the mat. From here, you're going to have your knees about hip width apart. Walk the hands forward about an inch in front of your shoulders. Curl our toes as we inhale, lifting the hips up to downward dog. Walking the feet out. One heel lowers, then the next. No worries if your heels don't come down to the floor. And then bringing stillness as both heels come back and towards the mat. Let's inhale our right leg up. Exhale, move forward to plank, bringing the knee in. Inhale, back. Exhale into plank. Inhale, back. Exhale, looking forward, bringing that foot in between the hands. Left knee comes down. Arms rise up. Inhale, palms come together. Exhale, twist to the right. Left elbow hooks the right knee. Or you can place your forearm just down on the leg. Navel to spine. Two breaths. Let's inhale back to center. Left hand comes down, and we're going to inhale our right arm up. Right hand comes down. Curling the left toes, you're going to step to plank. Hold here for a breath. And then inhale, hips back up towards the sky. Let's inhale our left leg up. Exhale, move to plank. Inhale up. Exhale in. Inhale up. Exhale, look ahead. Step the left foot between your hands. Right knee comes down, top of the foot. Inhale, arms up. Let's inhale our hands together. And then twist to the left. Hooking right elbow to the outside of left leg. Long, full breath. Let's inhale, back to center. Right hand comes down. Inhale, left arm up. And beautifully here. Left hand comes down. Moving the right hand in. Curl your right toes. Step to plank. One breath. And on your inhale, bringing the hips up. Walk the feet out. Let's inhale our right leg up. Look between the hands, stepping that foot in between your hands, becoming solid and grounded in your feet before rising our arms up. High lunge. Hands come together, exhale to the right. I mean, it's 
breath in your lungs here. Energy comes into the right big toe, help with balance, navel to spine. Inhale, back to center, left hand down, inhale, right arm up. Right hand comes down. We're going to place our left foot at 90 degrees, finding a straight line from your right heel to the arch of your left foot. And we're going to windmill up to Vira Bhadrasana 2. Balancing your energy out in between both legs here. Looking over your right hand. Palm, right palm comes up. We're going to go forward and back to reverse. Bringing a smile to your face. Come back to center to bear two. Shifting forward, placing your right arm lightly on your leg, winding the left fingertips down overhead for extended side angle. That part of your shoulder, you can reach it up to the sky or place it on your lower back. And then come back to bear two. Straighten that right leg. Hip shift back. Reaching forward with the right hand. Hand comes down to the right shin. And opening yourself up to Trikonasana or Triangle Pose. Connect to your breath. Like you're between two panes of glass. So flatten yourself out. Shoulders away from the ears. And then bending your right knee. Hands bring the right foot, follow the left foot. Let's step back to plank. Move into a flow either from your knees or your toes. Forward and down. Top of the feet. Inhale to cobra, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Walk your feet out. Good. Inhale our left leg up. Look between your hands as you step to your left foot. In between your hands, grounding into your feet, rising arms up. Hands come together. Exhale, twist to the left. Enjoy the strength you're building here. Lovely. Hands come back to center. Right hand down. Inhale, left arm up. Left arm down. We're going to place our right foot down at 90 degrees. Change sides for you. So your left heel is now intersecting the right arch of your foot. And you're going to windmill up to your bear of the two. Looking over the left palm, balancing out the strength in your feet. Left palm faces up, forward and back or reversed, making sure the left knee stays towards the pinky side of your foot. Come back to bear at two. Bend the elbow as you lightly place it on your left leg. Windmill those fingertips down to the floor. Overhead or up to the ceiling or to your lower back. Enjoying that light you're creating here. Come back to Vera 2. 
bringing strength and softness into the pose. Straighten your left leg, hip shift back, left hand reaches forward. When you can't reach anymore, you're going to place it down on your left leg and rise your right arm up. Two more full breaths. Bending our left knee, we're going to frame our left foot with our hands, come to the ball of your right foot. Step back to plank, either from your knees or your toes, coming forward and down. Inhale to up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Walk the feet out here. And then bringing both heels back and down. And let's come down to our knees. We're going to bring our knees to the outside edges of the mat. Walk the hands forward for Garbhasana or Child's Pose. Either walking the hands out or you can bend your arms and rest your head on your arms here. Noticing if your breath left shallow in that flow. Bringing the hips towards the heels. And on each exhale, I invite you to visualize a loved one's hands gently pressing on your lower back to help lengthen out your back here. Just feeling that length as your loved one's hands gently press on your back lengthening out from the top of your back to the lower part of your back. Taking your full breath, filling your back up. And on your exhale, releasing, allowing your back to soften and lengthen here. Inhaling love and light. Exhaling fear and darkness. Inhaling your own unique self. Exhaling comparison to others. Giving gratitude to your body and mind for all it does each moment of each day in your life. Let's take three more full breaths here. And then moving ourselves back up to a seated position. We're going to bring our legs out. And we're going to bring our bend in our right knee, placing the sole of the foot on the inside of your left leg and then placing it over your left. If you have more space, you can tuck your left heel towards your right glute. If not, you can leave that leg extended, or if this is uncomfortable, you can always just keep your right foot down on the mat. If you have a small block or even like this bolster here, um, if you need more space, you can always sit on this and have yourself here. Maybe a, a small book or block behind you. 
and anything's acceptable. So modifying the pose that best suits you. So if you're here, or any, any position you're in, we're going to bring our right palm behind us. And then inhale our left arm up. And exhale, twist to the right. You can hook your elbow to the outside of your right leg, or you can wrap it around, finding what suits you best. When you inhale, you grow tall, creating space. When you exhale, you move into that space, starting from the belly up the spine, moving head back last. Let's take four full breaths here. Enjoy that twist that you're creating. Twists are great for digestion. Two more breaths. Your next inhale, you're going to come back to center, bringing your left leg out if it's in, then your right. You can shake that leg out a bit if you want before moving to the other side. The left foot comes in and then either crossing it or whatever position you took on the other side. You can tuck your right foot in, making sure your sit bones are grounded on the mat. As we inhale, our left arm back, right arm up, and exhale to the left. Again, your inhale allows you to grow tall, and your exhale is where your twist comes in. Take four full breaths here. Not worrying about your head coming back, just twisting from the belly up the spine. Two more. On your next inhale, let's come back to center. Bringing your feet out. Bring the soles of our feet together. The Baddha Konasana or Cobbler's Pose. Hands can just rest on our knees. If you take an inhale, Exhale, walk the hands forward. You can either walk them right in front of your feet, curl them around your feet, or if you want, you can place them underneath your feet and hold on to the tops of your, tops of your feet here. Releasing your back. Take three more breaths. Last one. On your next inhale, we're going to come back up. Feet come to the mat, bringing them together. Feet are together. Placing our hands behind our thighs. Inhale, our shoulders up, back, and down. Navel to spine. As we move into um, Navasana, our boat pose, we're going to rock back onto our tailbone. You can lift your feet up if you want to raise your hands or straighten your legs, so here's the three breaths. Beautiful, being strong here.
two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. And just go at your own pace a couple more rounds if you need to drop the count or extend. Listen to what's best for you. Finishing up wherever you are in your breath work here. Come back to your natural cycle of breathing. our inner gaze to the point between the eyebrows here, our place of intuition. Just checking in there. Connecting head to heart here. And soft in the jaw and the shoulders and the hips. of gratitude within your life. In a moment to find that gratitude. Let's inhale our gratitude up with our hands. Hands come together and exhale, bringing the gratitude down to tuck into our heart, keeping it with us on and off the mat. Being mindful, it's always there for us to come back to. Let's inhale through the nose. Exhale the mouth. Inhale to own if you choose. Oh. healthy, may we be happy, may we enjoy each breath, may we live in peace and ease, may we be healthy, may we be happy, may we enjoy each breath, may we live in peace and ease. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon. Much love.